New blood. Bartender. Walking alone at night. She's either brave or dumb. Good in my life, not someone who's tragically wounded and damaged by demons he can't escape. The damaged ones, they're not good. At least not for me. Some women actually find me quite charming. Look at you, repeating the same destructive cycles over and over again. You are the architect of your own unhappiness. I don't remember asking for your advice. Oh, really? So of all the people in New Orleans, you choose someone with a master's in psychology to record your life story. You're over a thousand years old, pretty damn sure you know how to type. The truth is, you compel me to come here because you have no one else to talk to and you want to be understood. Then you compel me to forget everything as soon as I leave your presence because you're too scared to trust. When Davina showed me all you did to me, all you took from me, I wanted to kill you. I even thought about burying that blade in you like the witches asked me to, but I didn't. I stopped, I thought, I weighed. The good I see in you versus the horrible things I know you've done. And I realized if I hurt you, I'd be filled with a terrible regret. Camille, I need your help. Hello, Klaus. Hello, Camille. Thank you so much for convincing my furious siblings to join my Machiavellian plan. Yeah, that was good times. Oh, what did you say? How is my neck? It's healed. Thank you so much for asking. Now, you were saying... I like her spirit. Can feel this much how I So do I. Can feel as something that is how it multiplies in my veins and in my blood and how it triggers it in my You want to know why I stay in town? Because against every ounce of my better judgment, my sanity, and my common sense, turns out I have complicated feelings for a monster. Does each monster have complicated feelings for you? I think it's entirely possible that he does, yeah. Open, would you? Let's commiserate my sister leaving me again. You have to stop compelling the customers. I need the tips. <sighs> when I first got into town, you handed me one of those. I had taken a shift from another girl. Not for that. Could have been someone else standing here right now instead of me. You know, I prefer to see it the other way. If it wasn't that night, this bar, that hundred dollar bill, it would have been 
Jackson Square, staring at a painting. Or Frenchman Street, listening to jazz. I would have found you. Don't say tired. You've lived long enough to know you should never tell a woman she looks tired. I was going to say contemplative. <laughs> Penny for your thoughts. I was thinking about you. And what Rebecca said. Is she right? Do you see me as this fragile thing that needs to be kept behind glass? To protect me from Aurora. Don't. Please. When I think of all the ways she could have hurt you. She didn't. Klaus. She didn't. Because of you. I've lost count of the amount of times you've been there for me. And everyone you care about. But today you save someone who doesn't mean a thing to you. Why? Because you wished it. Because what's important to you is important to me. What makes you happy makes me want to keep you so. What scares you I want to tear apart. I do not wish to watch you from behind glass, Camille. What do you wish? Exactly my point. You make some glib throwaway line about death as though it means nothing to you, but it does. If not your own, then at least the death of others. So beneath the devilish banter and charming wit, Klaus Michelson bears the burden of a deep-seated psychological trauma about death. I deserve this. No one deserves this. Not unless they choose it. Some of us don't have that choice. We just have to survive what is forced upon us. But I do have a choice. I can choose not to feed. I think it's better this way. I mean, look at me. I want to make a super hot corpse, right? Perfect for an open casket. Camille. I want my wake to be at Rousseau's. I want it to be epic. An open bar and dancing and no one cries or I come back and I poltergeist the hell out Stop of- Stop it! I will not entertain this kind of talk any longer. You must feed. I like who I am. I've spent my entire life being this exact version of Zane. And if I turn 
If I become a vampire, I don't know what I'll be. I don't know who I'll be. I know. I know you'll be an extension of the person you are now. You'll be strong and, and understanding and brave. No! You don't know me. You think you know me, but you don't. There is a darkness inside of everyone, Klaus. What if mine takes over? I won't let it. You can barely contain your own darkness. It is better I die as someone I'm proud of than live as someone I despise. No, it's better a flawed life lived than wasted rotting in clay. It's not gonna happen. Not to you. Camille, I'm begging you. Don't leave me. I hope you don't mind. I helped myself to the Michelson family blood stash. And how do you feel? I have to admit, at first it felt strange, that metallic taste. But then it was like electricity coursing through my body. A million stars exploding in my mind all at once, like nothing I have ever felt before. It was amazing. And all I can think now is I want to do it again. Don't move, and don't make a sound. No one can help you, do you understand? Young, healthy, a tad unsophisticated, but not bad. Listen to the heartbeat. It will tell you when to stop. Cammy. Camille. I'm sorry, are you of all people offering me a lesson in restraint? Leave now. Forget my face and that of my mouthy blonde friend. We should go. You're not yourself. I am myself and I'm not finished. And by the way, I resent the critique. I spent the last two years listening to every malicious thing you've ever done. How many hundreds of people have you killed, Klaus? Actually, I measure the number in the hundreds of thousands, leaving me no hope of absolution. It's not a fate I wish for you. You don't get it. I've always tried to get you to be something else, something more human, and I was wrong. You are exactly what you're meant to be. And now I'm just like you. You're still learning what you are. This. It's not you, Camille. You're right. It's better. I can't be your therapist anymore. Are you afraid vampirism makes you less astute? Because honestly... I can't counsel you to let go of your paranoia when I have issues of my own. You left her her life. She compelled me to slit my throat and you let her live. In unending torment. Camille, you are the reason I will not grant her the mercy of a quick death. She has to suffer for what she stole from you. I'm okay with who I am now, Klaus. I think you're more concerned about what she stole from you.
What is it? Something happened and you're gonna be angry. But Lucian wants you to be angry. He's trying to lure you into a trap. What did he do? Promise me you won't fly off the handle and do something crazy. Promise me. Before you lose it. Because look at me. I love you. And I won't let you get yourself killed. Come here. <sighs> you to know. I can tell you I love you tomorrow. You're not dying today. Hey, will you do something for me? You'd think with current events I would have written a will, but no time like the present. Will you write a few things down? Camille. Look, I've made my peace with dying. I just don't want to leave any loose ends, so. Besides, I was your stenographer. You owe me. To Davina, I leave everything in my closet. Just nothing too revealing. To Josh, my records. To Vincent, my books and all of Kieran's files. To Elijah, I have an old game of Trivial Pursuit under my bed. To Haley, my dark objects. Will you make sure that she gives them to Hope when she's old enough? Hope's a New Orleans witch, she should have them. And to you. Enough! This is, is, is pointless. We're going to find a way to fix it. Perfect day at a corner cafe. Really outdid yourself. Told me you were real. It will do to pass the time while we wait for the cure to take effect. And then tomorrow when you're recovered, we can travel anywhere you like. Perhaps we'll go to Santorini for some Vincenzo or to Rome. Perfect espresso. Always wanted to go to Venice. Ride in a gondola down the Grand Canal. Well, then we must start there. I wish I had known you were such a romantic. I wouldn't have played so hard to get. Let us not speak of regrets. We're in a perfect moment of a perfect day. Let's try to enjoy it. I do love you, you know. You're gonna tell me that tomorrow. What I know about death, Camille. Death dances silently in everyone's shadow. And she doesn't give a damn. So, why give a damn about her? You do give a damn. Why else surround yourself with immortals if not to avoid the agony of loss? You disagree. Fine. I hope it's a long time before I'm proven right.
Could lie, say I like it. Like- 